Hey guys, so I am going to do a quick tutorial about how to wear a fedora. Um, I got this super cute one at, of all places, Walmart for like, I think it was like six or eight dollars. Um, pretty much goes with everything because there's a lot of colors in the band, so I like that. Not that you have to be matchy-matchy, but just, you know, it has at least some of the colors in there so that it kind of looks like it goes. Um, basically right now I have not washed my hair. I have just gotten out of bed to do some videos. So here I am. This is what my hair looks like. Um, one day post scrunchy curly wear and then I put a ponytail most of the day. Um, so basically you can always obviously I like to wear my fedora out like if I go to the pool or the beach. Um, not that you can't wear it other times. I've worn it to a few family functions or whatever. You can obviously wear it whenever, wherever you want to. But I kind of like the idea of it at the beach. It keeps the sun kind of off your face. And I'm a person who like absolutely has to wear my sunglasses. So I tend to have my raccoon rings around my eyes where I wear my sunglasses, um, even in the sunshine. So I don't get like tanned underneath where the sunglasses go. So I always have those weird rings. Um, but I like when I wear a hat with a brim because it kind of shades my face. And so the sun doesn't quite get <laughs> so dark on my cheeks and my nose. Um, so I don't have that like super distinct sunglasses tan line. So anyway, obviously you can wear it with your hair down, which looks just fine. Um, especially when your hair has kind of like beachy waves or just a little bit of curl to it. Um, super cute when your hair is straightened too. I rarely, rarely ever straighten my hair because because it just takes too long. But also because I don't, I'm trying to grow it and so I'm trying to keep the heat um, action to a minimum with my hair. So I've been doing like the scrunchy thing or just putting it up after it dries or whatever. So anyway, um, you definitely wear it down however you think you can have to play with it sometimes. I like to part it on the side because there's always like this little piece that kind of comes across your face and that's cute. So that's one way. Um, and then another of my favorite ways is wherever my part is, I go to the, actually this is the opposite side, right? Yeah. I go, I get so confused when I do a video and I'm like watching myself on the screen because I get all confused about which side's which. Anyway, I like to, um, put a ponytail at the opposite side of my part, or actually on the side of my part, sorry, on the opposite side of where my hair is like thick. Um, and you can just do a loose pony, which looks cute after you fluff it and play with it a little bit. Um, so that's one way to wear it, easy, you know, off your neck kind of thing. But technically my favorite way to wear it if I want it to be off my neck if it's super hot because by the way even if you have like a breathable straw hat um you're still gonna be a little bit warm because hats keep all the heat from the top of your head right there contained up in your hat so you'll be a little toastier but technically I like to put a little floofy fluffy bunny kind of ponytaily thing down at the base of my neck, right underneath my ear, and sometimes you have to play with it to figure out where it exactly after you get the hat on. So there's that. And then I'm just gonna see, I feel like it needs to come forward a little. So I could do that. You can just, and then, you know, the fluffier it is, the better. Um, but I don't like pieces to hang on my neck. So I just like to twist those around and stuff, fluff it out, you know. Just mess with it until it looks cute. I'm not saying that that looks cute because that looks a little like loopy, but I would probably play with it, make sure that it was like, you know, pieced out and fluffed up a little. Like that piece right there is ridiculous. But anyway, you get the idea. You'll have a little fluffy bun, you know, kind of hanging right here at the side of your fedora. So, um, because obviously you can't put like your hair up in a high pony when you've got a fedora on. So, that's that. Um, so I hope that that was helpful for you guys as to how to wear a fedora. Um, when I first got it, I was like, mm, I don't look good in hats. It's not going to be cute, you know, whatever. But I kind of just had to play with different hairstyles to, um, 
you know, figure out which one looked best and how I liked it. So I hope that was helpful for you guys about how to wear, how I wear my fedora. Um, give you some ideas on how to wear it. Um, I also did a fishtail video just a little bit ago, and I have a ton, a ton of braid tutorial videos. So um, any of those would look totally cute. Side braid, fishtail braid on the side. Um, actual pigtails would be cute, or pigtail braids would be cute, all with the fedora. So I'm gonna go ahead and link those. There's a, this. They'll be in the playlist with this video too. So I um, hope that's helpful. Hope you guys can um, pick up a fedora. I mean, shoot, for six or eight dollars at Walmart, you can afford not to pick up a fedora because it's really cute and super trendy and helps keep those rays off your face. So that's an A plus kind of thing. So anyway, um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.